A Japanese minister in charge of cybersecurity has provoked astonishment by admitting he has never used a computer in his professional life, and appearing confused by the concept of a USB drive. Here's a summary of the article. A Japanese minister in charge of cybersecurity has provoked astonishment by admitting he has never used a computer in his professional life, and appearing confused by the concept of a USB drive. Yoshitaka Sakurada, 68, is the deputy chief of the government's cyber security strategy office and also the minister in charge of the Olympic and Paralympic Games that Tokyo will host in 2020. It's unbelievable that someone who has not touched computers is responsible for cyber security policies, said opposition lawmaker Masato Imai. Another joke that perhaps Sakurada was simply engaged in his own kind of cyber security. If a hacker targets this minister Sakurada, they wouldn't be able to steal any information. Indeed it might be the strongest kind of security. Sakurada has been in office just over a month, after being appointed in a cabinet reshuffle following Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's re-election as head of his political party. Earlier this month he claimed to know nothing about plans for North Korea's sports minister to attend a meeting in Tokyo at the end of the month, in violation of a ban on the regime's officials entering Japan. This post received a score of 65,453, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Anyone else reminded of Jen's introduction in the IT crowd? I feel like the interview for appointing this guy must have gone pretty similarly. The web, using mouse, mices, clicking, double-clicking, the computer screen of course. Dot the bit that goes on the floor. Correct. Memory is RAM. Gonna put some RAM memory in the ATM machine. That's backwards. These days you can download more RAM smiley face. Or. Thank you I just DLED 32 GB of RAM. My phone works so smooth now. You can't make this shit up. In Japan you can. There is often gross incompetence in high value jobs because there is a culture of distributing these jobs to loyal long time employees as opposed to competent people. Never heard it happening so high up though. This is child's play for the idiocy cabinet members can get up to in Japan. It's what happens when you have a single dominant party. Also it's not really a party, it's more a front for bureaucrats who come from noble families. I don't know anything about Japanese politics, can you elaborate on this? I thought that Japan abolished the nobility. Do they still keep informal records of these kinds of things? I am not sure about the formality but it's possibly to look up a person's family background because when people get married the families of the spouses make sure the other party doesn't belong to the old underclass of Barakamon, which was the lowest caste until not long ago. Also all Japanese people know if a politician comes from a noble family like samurai because it's gossip, and most of the guys who go to higher positions do. The only one who didn't who was able to become prime minister was Noda, and he was constantly being condescended to for it. Nobody can hack his computer if he doesn't even have one. 200 IQ move. Taps head. With USB key. Transfer complete, idiots. Brain over it and with zeros, formatted. That's a non-diff in this case anyway. Fake it, till you make it, I guess. When I was a wee lad I thought lawyers and police and engineers and doctors had OTB almost godlike, they went to university and had to be the best of the best, then I hit two digits of age and started to talk to some of them as I grew up. Realized there are some great ones and some well. The others wind up in, ah, stories about Kevin. Currently working on my PhD. It's absolutely startling and anxiety inducing how much high level R&D just happens by the seat of your pants. Scientists and engineers are just as confused as to why it be what it do sometimes as anyone else. We were just forced to take calculus. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.